I don't like what you said, obviously, but this is what you said. The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border, and that is exactly what they are. The fact that concentration camps are now an institutionalized practice in the home of the free is extraordinarily disturbing. I don't know if she's ever visited uh, in Europe a concentration camp. I have. Yeah, we had callers yesterday who had. And let me tell you something. That was a, uh, the ignorance of this young member of the United States Congress is breathtaking in scope. And her insensitivity and lack of understanding of history, Andy, I would say, is also lacking in scope. It is. And, you know, those who do not know history are doomed to repeat it. And she has made a foolish remark, a stupid remark, a remark that shows an ignorance of what happened in World War II. And to dare, to dare to use the phrase never again in the context of what is happening in the border in the southern part of the United States as regards and with respect to what happened in Central and Eastern Europe to the Jews during World War II is the most outrageous thing. So maybe some good comes from it because now these two senators are getting together to come up with a bill. But I hate to say that something good came from an outrageous yeah. remark like well, that. I will say this, one, because of what Andy said. It's so outrageous. It yep. deserved commentary. It came from a member of Congress who the Democrats have elevated to a top leader, even though it's only her first term. Democrats have decided to let her be a spokesperson for the Democrat Party. And they did not denounce this. They went and twisted themselves all around into saying she wasn't really incorrect. Second, the reason why we do highlight this is that you can get sometimes something good out of something so horrendous. Yeah. And if by focusing in on these horrendous comments, the Democrats will move on legislation they said no to because of 24 hours because they're embarrassed by AOC, well, then that, that gives all the more reason why for us to spend that time like we did yesterday sure, absolutely. pounding the issue because it made it to all the news outlets, all the news networks, and everybody was having to comment on By the end of the day, the liberal journalists were being fact-corrected by groups like the Auschwitz Foundation. 